Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Jeremy and today I'm going to show you how I unmodded my keyboard and turned it from this to this. So first things first, you gotta remove the keycaps and then the switches. Luckily this is a hot swappable keyboard so I don't have to spend hours just desoldering the thing. And here's the PCB. What I did here was mod the stabilizers. I basically band-aid modded the stabilizers with some electrical tape as I didn't have band-aids at the time. And I also added more loop to the stabilizers as it was pretty rattly. If you want a tutorial, there are tons of them out here on YouTube. So here, I'm just checking the stabilizers and making sure they go up and down and they work as normal. The spacebar sounded hollow, so what I did here was I cut a small piece of EVA foam sheet, cut small holes for the stem to go through, and then placed it in the spacebar. Next was adding foam to the case. There are tutorials out there showing how you can do it for this board, and it's actually pretty simple. You just gotta cut out some foam, and this is the foam I got from the packaging. This case is slightly different as the spacing between the PCB and the back plate isn't equal all around. So you'll have to cut the foam and stack the foam in different places. Also, be sure not to add too much foam to avoid adding pressure to the PCB. And this is how it looks like with the acrylic back plate on the case. Yes, it doesn't look too good. But to be honest, you won't be looking at it most of the time as it's under the keyboard and your keyboard's placed on the table. The foam is translucent though, so the underglow LED can still shine through. And now, for the sound test. And that is all. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like. And if you're new here, please do consider subscribing as well. And I hope to see you all in the next video.